New England Patriots head coach Bill Belichick affirmed on Friday that the kicking balls used in their recent 27-17 defeat against the Kansas City Chiefs were underinflated, reminiscent of the infamous deflate gate scandal in 2015. Stressing that the Patriots were not responsible, Belichick disclosed that both teams' kickers struggled with mid-range field goals during the first half, prompting awareness of the issue. Belichick clarified, We were aware of it in the first quarter. The officials handle that, and they were underinflated by 2 to 2.5 pounds. I think you can see that by the kicks. Kickers Harrison Bucker and Chad Ryland both missed field goals, sparking concerns about the ball's condition. According to the standard rules, kicking balls are expected to be inflated between 12.5 to 13.5 pounds per square inch, a responsibility delegated to game officials. Belichick acknowledged the halftime correction of the balls but expressed uncertainty about why the issue wasn't addressed earlier, stating, then they fixed them at halftime, but didn't do it before then, which is another question you can ask. Despite the sensitive history surrounding underinflated balls in New England, particularly after the deflate gate fallout, Belichick emphasized that the Patriots were not involved. Referring to the league's handling of the situation, he remarked, I don't know, you'd have to talk to the league on what happened with that because we don't have anything to do with that part of that. An NFL spokesperson declined to comment on the matter, leaving lingering questions about the incident's handling. Belichick, however, reiterated, but we don't have anything to do with it. Were we aware of it? Yeah, definitely. The Patriots, still haunted by past penalties, remain firm in asserting their innocence in this latest episode involving underinflated footballs.